Hello everyone! Thank you so much for checking out today's Canva tutorial video. Today's video is entitled, How to Add Shadow in Canva Graphic Elements. So we're gonna get started. Um, okay, we're gonna choose a graphic element that we can work on first. So we're gonna type, oh, we're gonna go to the element section and we're gonna type um, a certain keyword on the search bar. I'm gonna type in butterfly for example. And we're going to go to the graphics section because we're talking about graphic elements today. All right, so we're going to choose a specific graphic element here. This one is an image element. So gra by graphic elements, I mean those that you can change the colors just like this one. So unlike image elements, um, we're going to click that image element again, this one. So unlike image elements, you can go to edit image and then add shadows to it by clicking shadow and by choosing a specific shadow over here. You can also adjust your shadow by double clicking and yeah, things like that. Click on apply once you're done. But unlike this element here, graphic elements will not allow you to do something like that. So yeah, you're not going to be able to find the shadow option here. So what we can do is to add a new page. We're going to move our shadow, I mean, <laughs> move our graphic element over here. And then we're going to save it first. So we're going to go to share. And then we're going to go to download. We're going to select PNG as our file type or else it won't work. And then for the transparent background option, we're going to tick it. Uh, this is unfortunately only available for those with a Canva subscription. If you don't have a Canva subscription, that's all right. You can always sign up for their free trial version, which you can enjoy for 30 days. So we're going to select uh, page number two only, and we're going to click on download. So navigate to the location where you'd like your file to be saved in and save it there. And now we're going to go to, we're going to delete that. We're not going to need that anymore. So we're going to go to uploads and then we're going to click on upload files. We're going to select the uh, file that we downloaded earlier and click on open. So this has now been converted into an image element. So we're going to click on it and we're going to go to edit image. And now we can finally add a shadow to it. So we're going to click on this shadow option and choose a specific shadow that we would like to apply to our element right over here. There. Okay. And in case you want to change its color, well, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to change its color individually now, but you can go back to um, the element that you created earlier. You can change its color. Let's say, for example, we're going to turn the yellow into brownish black. We're going to turn the blue into orange this one into brownish black as well okay and then we're just going to position it similarly I'm gonna zoom in to see better and there you go so that you'll be able to move it all around while also dragging the shadow you can highlight everything and then click on group and there you go finally you were able to add a shadow to a graphic element you can keep on doing the same thing over and over again for all types of graphic elements and yeah basically that's it that's how you add a shadow to graphic elements. And yeah, we really do hope you found today's video of help somehow. I'm going to be creating a design using this. So 
If you want to, feel free to keep watching. Otherwise, it's also okay. And yeah, once again, we hope you found today's video of help somehow. You have a great day.